When there's a crisis and that phone rings at 3 a.m. in the White House, there's no time for speeches or on-the-job training. What exactly is this foreign experience that she's claiming? I know she talks about visiting 80 countries. Uh, it's not clear, you know, was she negotiating a treaties or agreements or uh, was she handling crises during this period of time? Uh, my sense is the answer is no. Oof. I'm going to rule fair game here on both of them. Clinton's 3 a.m. is a fair question to ask voters. I'm ruling fair game for Obama. His response, while just as biting, is just politics. Rachel, you and I went at this before. Yeah. I mean, you really think that the 3 a.m. ad is a cheap shot? The 3 a.m. ad is such a cheap shot. It makes It's actually the first thing that's made me mad at Hillary Clinton. It almost made me as mad as the thing where she said, oh, as far as I know, he's not a Muslim. Those have been the two worst things that she's done. And that 3 a.m. ad was wrong because it seeds the argument to the Republicans over the Democrats in terms of whether or not American voters ought to be scared into but voting for somebody. Peter, that just to me s suggests that when you're a Democrat, you can't talk about national security issues in the primary. The truth is that Democrats have been scaring Americans about foreign policy for the last 100 years. I mean, I heard Rachel earlier say that Franklin Roosevelt said freedom from fear. Franklin Roosevelt spent the entire late 1930s scaring Americans about the Nazi threat. And thank goodness he did. There's, if we, the, the real debate should be how serious do we think the terrorist threat is. That's a genuine argument you can have. Rachel may think it's less serious than John McCain. Peter, there's does. A she may be right. But, a, that, but it's perfectly reasonable to have the debate. There's a difference between talking about the threats that are faced by a country and talking about how to stand up to them and how we as a nation can face them as, with unified, uh, with unity and from a position of strength. Well, it's said, another thing to say, be afraid, vote for me, which no, is what Hillary said, Clinton's who's doing, pick up the George phone. W. Bush politics. No. And she, no, can no. Probably, she can probably better argue that she's the one who did pick up the phone at 3 a.m. and they said, can I speak to your husband? What <laughs> argument is it? Where is the argument when you say, be afraid, something scary in the world, well, I want the, to answer the, the phone. The, you're the, not saying what you can say when you the phone. You're not saying what you can do to make us any safer. You're just invoking the feeling of fear. Go ahead, Peter. Well, yeah. But if you, if you believe, in fact, that there is a very serious threat out there, then you, as John McCain does, I don't agree with him on most policies, but he thinks the threat is probably greater than most Democrats do, you're entirely justified in saying that Americans should be concerned about that and vote for you on that basis. And he basis. thinks the threat is more serious than most Democrats do? Peter, are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, John McCain Demo understands yeah, the threat to America De better than, Rachel, better than Demo Democrats do? Really? Rachel, most Democrats, including you and me, think that global warming is more of a threat than an al-Qaeda attack. I think we're right. John McCain thinks that, uh, that al-Qaeda is a bigger threat. you can threat. make up whatever you want about your own weird ideas about <laughs> national do. security, but uh, you're not putting you me inside Rachel, that you don't, you don't mind think of yours. Well, you don't this think is global absolutely right, ridiculous. Rachel, let me, she doesn't, if you understood national security press let me ask you the question. Rachel, let me just ask you the question. Do you think global warming is a bigger or smaller threat than another al-Qaeda attack? Rachel, that's a final word. No. All right. I think it is a smaller threat, <laughs> okay. and I don't know why you would that's, think that's that. That's agree. Why, no, fine, but why would you caricature Democrats as not understanding not the threat Democrats. to America? I, but John McCain does. There is a perception. There is a perception. There is a perception. There is a perception. I, 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 I got to move on. It's clear. Unbelievable. I, I, I got to move on here, but I am ruling this one no demerits. I am saying that I still think, and I said this before that this Hillary Clinton ad is not that big a deal and welcome to the general election if they're not ready for them. So I'm still keeping this a tide at one to one.